What is up guys? What is up? Welcome back to my channel, man. You know what? You know what? Oh, oh y'all a better intro than that. What is up, gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's Chris K bringing you another review. I know it's been long waited and anticipated since I dropped the video. I told you I was going to give y'all videos every week and I have not done that. And for that, I am sincerely sorry. Uh, you know, everybody has things going on in the background. I have things going on as well. I'm a human, but what can I say? I'm here now. I got a new setup in the background. I got hangers, got my lights. Um, before when I did that review, I was using this room to cut hair. I still cut hair, but just not in this room. So I'm gonna strictly be doing, uh, filming my content in this room just for you guys, you know, okay, okay, you get some, you get some applause, in the background, applause in the background, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of things about me has changed since y'all seen me, last video of the night, I have a neck tattoo, I have a neck tattoo now, last video my beard wasn't this full, now it's a little fuller, I hope, anyways, but yeah, welcome back to the channel, man, and today I will be, real, I will be doing a review on the new Prada sunglasses, I don't know, um, well, they're not too new. They've probably been out for like four to five months, but I don't know if you guys have seen people rocking these out in town or wherever, but I will be doing a review on those today. And like I said, as you see, I have a different background, different setting for you guys to bring a different kind of vibe to the channel because, like I said, I will be doing reviews, right? So we're going into a new year. Everybody's making their new year resolutions. My new year resolution will be to put out consistent videos for you guys. And I know I haven't did it because I'm still working on trying to get this room all the way ready to film content because I want it to look really nice in the background, guys. I want like uh, canvases on the wall and all those good things. But anyways, no more of that. Let's hop straight into the review on these Prada sunglasses. The last review I did, I did it on the Palm Angel sunglasses, as you guys can see. If you guys did not watch that video, go to my old videos, find that video and go watch it. But... The long awaited, as you see here, it comes in this nice container. And then you have the sunglasses right here. Features the Prada on the side there. Trying to get it to focus. Not really focusing. Okay. But these glasses kind of give me that vibe, kind of that biggie vibe. Versace has some sunglasses just like this. Um, and I think it's called the Versace Biggies. If I'm not mistaken. And they kind of look like this, but kind of a different shape. This kind of gives me like that retro feel, like that, you know, I don't know. Kind of give me like that man in black feel, but except with a sleek shape to it. You know what I mean? Not with those bulky like NCIS sunglasses they used to wear on there. But let's put them on and let y'all see, man. As you can see, a nice fit on the head. What I noticed about some of these designer sunglasses, man, is that when you get them, sometimes it can kind of be tight right here on this area right here behind the ear. Because the, these are these are very, this is a good quality material that these sunglasses are made out of. But like I said, it can, it can these can be a little tight until they loosen up to your head shape. So it might be a little tight on the sides. But hey, man, I love them. Um, I feel like they go with any outfit when it comes to pairing them with things. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's black. And we all know black can go black goes with everything. You know what I'm saying? So you can put these with everything. Like I said, you can have loud colors on, dark colors on, neutral colors on, and this is gonna go. I'm gonna give y'all a side profile. A front profile once again. Hey man, I'm glad to be filming for y'all, man. Another side profile right here. And as you can see, I'll come a little closer and it has the powder right there on the side. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot I feel like a lot of people when I wore these they were telling me like oh yo like them like the same as your palm angel sunglasses like all right all right all right look these the shape on these is way different than um the shape on the palm angel sunglasses it it comes with this nice nice sleek um container you open it up and then your sunglasses are um snug inside it has the Prada symbol labeled on the inside there and this case is really nice. I don't know if it's a leather on it or what, but it's really nice. A really nice texture to it, man. For the price you're going to pay, it should feel that way. I said that on my last video. These glasses do get expensive, and I do understand that everybody cannot afford these. But if you can afford a pair, 
get a pair. And if you can't afford a pair, hey man, work hard, save up your money, and you buy what you want to buy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll show you once again. This is the container. You have the sunglasses snug on the inside. A nice leather material on the outside of the container. And then this container goes inside of this box. So it would go like so. This is the this is the box. It will go on the inside snug like that. And then your top of the box, like that. And then it says Prada on the front. And then you also get your um your a little cloth to clean the um, sunglasses. Hey man, look. I'm not just gonna make this a basic review, man, because I just kind of went through that review kind of quick. Um, I want to give y'all some, you know, some insight on my life, man. Uh, been going through a lot, you know what I'm saying? I feel like YouTube is gonna be a good outlet for me. I love to dress, you know what I mean? I feel like fashion is also an outlet and it's therapeutic for me. So, um, I feel like that's why I do a lot of shopping. Wouldn't say it's addiction. I would say it's more of therapy for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like fashion is a way that you can express yourself. Um, it, it tells who you are as a person and it kind of shows uh, what background you came from, who you are as a person and, you know, what geographical location you're from because everybody dresses different in different parts of the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the South. I'm from Dallas, Texas. So that influences the lot of way I dress. Down South, you know, we kind of flashy. Um, I feel like I can wear anything though, so I kind of try to step out of that. How I dress in particular, I try to dress in different styles to see myself, to try something different, to challenge myself to put different pieces together to see how they would look on me. Um, but yeah, man, hey, what is y'all New Year's resolution, man? Today is, like I said, December 24th. Christmas is in a few minutes. I'm on the West Coast in San Diego. Uh, well, it's actually Christmas now. It's 12.02. So, Merry Christmas to you if you're watching this video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be way past Christmas when you guys watch this video. Uh, but Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year to you and you guys' families. Um, I know this can be a difficult time for some families because they may not have you no know, loved ones or they're missing their family or could be grieving someone. So, you know, this could be the hard, this could be a hard time of the year for some people. The holidays are always hard. It's not as easy. Everybody's not as cheerful. So y'all be real mindful of that um, throughout the holidays. But yeah, man, I just, uh, my New Year's resolution, man, is to film more and to chase more, man. Like I feel like a lot of times I set goals for myself and I may not always go after those goals. I set the goals to say I want to do it and then I kind of just leave the idea alone. So I feel like um, every time I kind of like put something out there into the universe and say like, oh, I want to do YouTube, for example. And then I feel like it's more likely to come to fruition if you write down on a piece of paper. Like people do vision boards. That way the vision board reminds you of what goals you set your set for yourself throughout the year so you don't forget those goals and put them on a back burner and then end up never reaching those goals. So this year I'm gonna do a um a vision board so that and then I'm gonna just put my goals on there like I want a new car, I wanna reach ten thousand subscribers, I wanna put out consistent videos, two to three videos a week. Well, we'll say we'll say one or two. We'll say one or two because y'all gonna see like my last video six months ago. I was like, oh, well, we thought she's gonna put out a video every week. Exactly. That's why I'm gonna put it on a vision board. I wanna put out videos, one or two videos every week. Three is a lot. One or two, you know, because I still gotta edit videos, and it, it takes a lot to edit these videos, guys. So you know, this is not easy. But I love filming. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I love doing YouTube. I'm a natural in front of the camera. Like this video I'm filming now. This is one take. It's easy for me to just talk to the camera because it's what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's what I do. Um, that is what I do, baby. No, I'm saying, but uh, yeah, man. So we're gonna try to put out some consistent videos to you guys. Hey, look, that's gonna be in the comments. What is your New Year's resolution? What is something that you've been saying you want to do but you keep putting on a back burner and not going after? It? And this year, I want you guys to write it down and go after that goal. No matter what, make sure you don't forget that goal. And achieve it, man. And then create new goals. Set new goals. Every time you hit a goal, set a new goal. So once I hit 10,000 subscribers, my next goal is going to be 20,000. 20,000, 30,000. So on and so forth. But that's it for this video, guys. This review on the Prada sunglasses. Hey, don't forget to smash that like button. Drop a comment on what you want to see in my next videos. 